members of the Pride, and welcome back to another ep episode, I can talk, episode of Pathway. Uh, Alright, so, uh, let us move on. We've got a ton of fuel, we've got plenty of supplies, lots of ammo, tons of cash. This is, this, this, this particular adventure is going very well, I think. Okay, um, as you drive around the next dune, you meet a fully loaded Wehrmacht truck coming the other way. The truck makes a tight U-turn in a frantic attempt to mistake, uh, uh, to mistake, to escape. Kind of, again with the daredevil. Doggone it, I wish I had, take, uh, I had taken Jackson Sheffield now. I'm beginning to really regret that. All right, follow the enemy vehicle. Let's take a gamble. You gun the engine and take up pursuit. After a frantic chase, you finally catch up with the Germans at some, at some ruins. The soldiers hastily take recover as you move in to attack. You know, I could probably, like... Everyone knows that the proper way to fight is to stand around and bounce threateningly. You know, just before... And, and you have to wait your turn to, to attack. Uh, you know, in, in the true... J, you know, JRPG style. So, just, just so you know. Okay, uh, we've got you. Okay, no, we're in tumult, which means uh, I position, they move, and then we go. Okay, I gotta sneeze. Oh, my goodness. Alright. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see. We've got dog, dog, people. Oh, I gotta sneeze again. Oh, damn it! Oh, my dog is right here, and I I think you are purposefully sending up clouds of hair in order to make me sneeze. I think you're doing it on purpose. Gotta watch out for dogs, you know. They're, they're cute. They're adorable. They're wonderful creatures. Uh, hello? Oh my god, I'm frozen. Please stop doing that. Alright. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow, seven. Alright. How... How am I going to do this? Um... <clears throat> Let's put you there. Let's put you there. They can't attack. They can only move. So let's move there and let's 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 see what happens because they really they can, I can't really react properly until I see where they end up. So <clears throat> woof 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 woof. Okay. Now that everybody is positioned. Oh, man. Uh, you've got the grenade, right? Yes, you do. I see a beautiful spot for a grenade right here. Let's see. How big is this grenade? Okay, it's not, it's not any bigger. So I could put it right there and nail three dudes. Oh, and look at that. It's uh, that. So if I do that... Alright. You know what? I'm down with this. Hopefully I can actually throw the grenade over there. If I can't, then I'll just shoot you and and, and, and call that and, and call that a winner. But if not, yeah, see it won't see why not? Why can I not throw a grenade over here? I mean it's just a freaking truck. Shenanigans. It just it's it's shenanigans. <laughs> All right. Um, we've got you. Oh boy. Um, see, this is not optimal at all. We've got a lot of. Tell you what, I think we're going to move. Come on! Oh my God, this game.
If I do this... Where's the other dog? Well, the other dog's over there. That's the dog, right? So, can I... If I do, like... Okay, if I do there... I cannot get both dogs. If I did... Let's see, if I get right... Come on, there... It's, yeah, I, there's no way to get both dogs. So... And there's no way for me to get two targets, so let's just hope we get you. Oh. Which I did. And, oh, God, come on, game. What is with you? What is going on with this stuttering in this game? It's really kind of annoying. Uh, all right. Can I kill this dog in one shot? I can. So... He's probably gonna get flanked, but at least I can... Remove... A target. Because <clears throat> the fewer shots coming back at me, the less damage I take. Wow, that's a heck of a shot there. Two really amazing shots. Good grief. All right. Let's go ahead and get this dog. And... Okay, both dogs are gone. But I can't really heal anybody from here. Um, actually, you currently have some fairly decent cover where you are. But you can't really shoot very many people, which is not great. Um, you know what? I think you're fine where you are. Then you... Oh, boy. I think maybe it might be a good idea to come over here. That's a 50% chance. That is garbage! Uh, alright. But at least here I would have some cover. Let's go here. And... Let's grenade the two of you. And it sadly did not just uh, kill them both. I was kind of hoping it would nail them both. I uh, he has one hit point left, and and that's just just terrible. Uh, I'm saying you can't go in a diagonal at all, which is kind of a bummer. Um, <clears throat> if I go here. I will shoot you. Oh. <clears throat> and unfortunately, I just I can't do anything about you at all. Hmm. All right, let's just go ahead and reload you then, and we'll just call it a turn. <laughs> Ow. Ow. All right. Well, can you... Really? I, I mean, I'm sorry. How is that 50% cover? That just doesn't make any sense to me. That is so weird. Um, yeah, I mean, look at all this. I mean, it's... I don't know. That just doesn't make any sense to me. Um, but I can come here. And I'm just going to punch you. 
Ah! <laughs> it just rolls up and... <laughs> Alright, uh, let us repair your equipment, sir. Store 100 AR. Tinkerer, let's go ahead and claim that, whatever that is. What was that? I don't know what that was. Um, but I repaired myself, and I can't shoot anybody from here. Can I, do I have a, I do not, I was going to say, do I possibly have a straight shot? But I do not. Uh, do I just want a low profile from here? You know what? I think I'm just going to low profile from here. Oh, uh, who do I have left? Right. Is there a way to be able to determine if she has done anything else? I can't tell if she has two actions or one. And, and that's really, that's a, I mean, if they didn't add that to the game, that is a terrible oversight. Alright, just to be on the safe side, I'm just going to go here. And, oh, I can't. 58% um, chance. Ah! I'll take it. <clears throat> Oh, oh, okay. Well, thank you for that. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go right here. You do not... Uh, that is outside of your your shooting arc. Ah, I'm just going to pop you like, uh, just like that. All right. Reload all that ammo back to the map. Okay, well, I have some healing to do. Um, ooh, we just got a bunch of stuff. Let's go ahead and reveal. What is this? Hammer and pliers. Oh, that improves the uh, the armor repair. Ooh, that's cool. Okay. Uh, shotgun. We don't have, have a need for a shotgun. That's money, supplies, ammo, and gas. That is awesome. Okay, so... It, no, it's not, it, it's not you, it's Bellamy. All right, so we can do that, right? Oh, yeah, that's much better. All right, and uh, while we're on this subject, uh, let's see, how did we, how did we do this? It was use on Miguel. Very good. And then Natalia, you need to use on, or use on Bellamy, fam. And you know what? Uh, we're going to use on Miguel. That's beautiful. I love it. It's great. It's amazing. All right. Uh, do we have anybody who needs to level up? I didn't see anybody. Yeah, I don't see anybody here. Uh... Yeah, otherwise I think we're good. Um, and nobody's a shotgun user, so... Item storage capacity can only be upgraded at loadout. Oh. Hmm. I never thought about this. Uh, well... These are clear, I mean, are these, yeah, these are, these are clear, say, so these are definitely lesser. Let's move those to valuables, and let's move that to valuables. Uh, let's put you over here and you up there. You know what? Send that to valuables. Send this to valuables, because we, we have, we have better. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I, I think maybe I need to just be getting rid of anything that's level one and plain. Like this. 
I mean, because any, any heavy armor guy is going to start with this. So why not just send it to valuables? So let's just put that there, put this here, put that there, put that where, there. I now have plenty of room, and I have a ton of money. Excited? You searched the storage boxes you found in the back of the truck. Oh, and I got even... Wow, I even get more. All right. <laughs> more fuel, more supplies, and a large ammo box. Show me the money. You know what? We're exploring the whole place. <laughs> why, why shouldn't we? We're finding gas like crazy. Man, I tell you what, Bellamy, he he keeps us going, man. I don't know. I, I don't know why I wouldn't. I mean, why wouldn't I just explore everywhere? We've been finding fuel like crazy. Bellamy has been keeping us going. All right, you're racing along the gravel track at full speed and enjoying the cool wind on your face when a loud bang breaks the monotony of the engine. At first, you think it's a gunshot, but as your Jeep starts to skid, you realize you have a flat tire. With some difficulty, you bring your car to a, car to a halt so you can take a closer look at the damage. You're going, to have to change, you're going to have to change the wheel. You take the opportunity to retighten all the screws on your wheels before rest, restarting your journey. And that's it. Okay. You know what? I believe... I believe we're going to cover every spot on this map. I believe. Well, that's a bummer. <laughs> Over the next dune, you stumble across a dried out riverbed that runs right across your path. Its rocky edges drop so abruptly that a crossing is out of the question. Annoyed, you drive along the steep wadi until you find a flatter slope that, al slope that allows you to cross negative one fuel. That's okay. I believe. I believe. I believe in you. I believe. I believe in ancient ruins. Okay, you come across an abandoned desert temple. As you explore the structure, you come across a large squad of soldier soldiers searching its halls. They have not noticed you yet. Ambush! Kill the Nazis! We will not... Wait a minute, I, am I talking like... Yeah, that's probably not like the right way to be doing that right now. Okay, uh, wow. Armored dog? Really? Armored dog? I did not see that. Um, oh. No, these are... These are Nazis, right? Oh, wow. There's a lot of armored dogs. Huh. Maybe I should start over here? Because these dogs are going to come running up this way. We are ambushing, so we should be able to... You know what? She can go right there. And she should be able to just drill this guy. And then Bellamy and and Miguel. All right, can you just can you knacker him? Are you? Yeah, it's a hundred percent. Why isn't it showing that? Oh, but that's not gonna kill him. Wow, these officers are got a lot of health. Hmm. All right, tell you what. We have no other dogs. What if we did? Let's let's do let's do this. Yep, that dog goes. <coughs> so that's fine. And then let's pop. I'm a little a little concerning um yeah those are shock troopers oh my god what is with the stuttering 
Battle Hound. Armored dogs. Okay. Huh. Okay, um, sorry. I'm, I'm like, totally being distracted right now. Uh, yeah, you know what? Miguel, get over here. And... Pop that puppy. <laughs> Pop that puppy. Uh, <laughs> and you know what? I think we're going to get you undercover right here. Because Doggy should be going over there, right? That, oh! theoreti theoretically, that's how that works. Is Mr. Doggy loves me. So he should be going for the meat right now. So here come the shock troopers. We should be able to engage you. Okay, I like that. Yep, there he goes. Going for the meat. Alright, and Miguel should be able to take that second pup. There you go. And then let's move back over to here and get under cover. <sighs> How do we want to do this? Um, I could do a meltdown right here and just wreck you. How much damage is that going to do? Not enough. But I think it's a guaranteed hit. So let's see what happens. Oh! Yep. Okay. So. And then. Um, concentrate. Yeah. And then. My dear. Let's throw another bait. Right there. <laughs> Keep Mr. Puppy occupied. And, oh. Well, okay, I can get you. Not a great shot. Um, but I'll take it. Alright, that's a pity. Uh, and I think that's... Okay, that's good. I'm going to get some water here. Are you under... Are you under any sort of protection? I mean... <laughs> Kind of feels like he is not under any uh, any sort of protection for Pete's sake. Um. All right. Um. Oh, wow. What is with the stuttering in this game? It's like every once in a while, the game just goes, I don't know what to do with myself, and I'm going to stutter real quick. It's like, come on, game, figure yourself out here. All right. Uh, I mean, is this... Okay, this is at least some sort of cover from this direction, I think. So let's just go ahead and pop you. <coughs> and hurt your face. Um, that's a 50% chance. If we go here, that's still a 50%, but I can get the dog. Uh, and be protected from that side. So let's go here. And... Sorry. Oh, you lived. Alright, Natalia. Um, I kind of feel like I should just remove you as a problem. Mr. Pup, and uh, um, nobody's particularly hurt right now, so maybe I'll just fall her back to here. And does anybody else have any moves? No, we do not. And go. <laughs> Ow. Alright. Then... 
then, what's your shot? You have a 50% chance. So, what happens if we go, like, anywhere around here? Yeah, you know what, I can just roll right here. And we're just gonna, we're just gonna surround and, and gang him. Ay 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 Miguel's kicking booty. All right. <sighs> there is a small chance for you to invade and attack, regardless of the probability. My experience grows. All right, uh, and boom, 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 boom. Interesting. We have an all in leather patch. It is not as good as what we have, but that's cool. Uh, another disintegrator. Not as good as what we have, but that's cool. Money. 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 All right. <laughs> we have basically a lot of money. Uh, I am going to hold on to this because it's better than level one, and I still have people who have level one equipment, so we will hold on to that. And maybe we'll hold on to that stuff. I mean, I don't want to get rid of things that are clearly better than the than the than the stuff I have. So, I have another disintegrator. Is that better? It's actually better. Sort of. Well, we're not in a we're not in an urgent way, so uh, let's go to you. The unsuspecting German courier walks right into your arms. He probably thought you were stragglers from the German convoy. You tie him up and search his document pouch. You come across a letter from the German Research Center for Material Science in Berlin. Our research shows that Valkyrium, a hitherto unknown element, is something completely outside our periodic table. With an, an atomic weight of 500, jeez louise. Valkyrium is by far the heaviest known element, yeah, holy cow. Uh, if you're curious about atomic weight, um, I, I encourage you to just do a quick Google search to find out how heavy that is. Because you're, you're going to be like, whoa, wow, really? <laughs> That's freaking heavy. Its immense energy density is a scientific sensation. In short, the oh, sorry. <clears throat> In short, theoretically, we know of no more efficient energy supply. Am I... Am I becoming Russian now? I can't I can't keep my accent straight, okay? Leave me alone. But we still lack the means. As long as you do the, you know, the Z's, that, that means it's German, right? A, a bad German accent. But we, we still lack the means to effectively exploit this energy. You know, I need to be like... I need to, like, channel my inner Colonel Clink and my inner, you know... Sergeant Schultz is what is what I need to do here. When handling Valkyrium 500, we must warn you expressly against overheating. We will inform you of any further research results. Okay, thank you. Okay, love you. Bye bye. Okay, the tinker, <laughs> the tinker has set up his uh, his stand at the, at the side of the road. Uh, you know what? I've got all the money. I mean, I, I do need a lot of money. Okay, thank you. Um, but I think supplies are always in, in need. There's always a demand for supplies, so. All right, you find no trace. Oh, oh, an, oh, an, idyll an idyllic farmhouse. You find no trace of the inhabitants of the sprawling farm. Instead, you find that a Wehrmacht, a Wehrmacht unit has taken up lodging here. Do you risk an attack? Well, of course we risk an attack, but there is a small problem. Before we can do that, um, yeah, that, that means it is now time 
to end the episode. And this is a perfect time to end it is right here because, you know, it's right before it's cliffhanger, you know. And besides, you guys get to take a minute and look at the goats hanging out on the roof of, of, the, of, of this idyllic farmhouse. I mean, how often do you get a chance to, to see that? Goats on a farmhouse roof, you know. That's just good entertainment. <laughs> okay. Well, anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this particular episode. Hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, do the liking and the subscribing and the commenting down below. You guys are brilliant, and I truly appreciate every single one of you. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, everyone, always remember that anyone can be a mouse that roars. But it takes someone special to be a lion of squeaks. So embrace your inner lion and squeak on. Yeah, you know, um, goats on a roof. I just have nothing to say to that. <laughs> I think that just says it all. <laughs>